Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Hey everyone, checking in on PCLN, NVDA, Tesla, Netflix, CMG. Just want to let everyone know that as we head into the new year, I'm not going to be doing the same tickers every single day on these videos as I've been doing what feels like for a decade at this point. I'm going to be switching daily to setups that I like, tickers that have hype and momentum and volume and volatility and all that fun stuff. So it was fun while it lasted, but need to move on. PCLN, bulls establishing a higher low at 1749. Following through a little bit with that today, not a significant follow through, but we're very closely correlated to SPY and we didn't have a significant day. We haven't had significant days the past two days because it's been very low volume, very low trading range, not a whole lot going on. So if the bulls in SPY head to new all-time highs in early 2018, as they are set up to do, we'll look for PCLN to head back to the recent high up at 1794. And if we see these SPY bulls lose the daily higher low pattern, we'll be looking at PCLN to lose this low that just was established and to lose the middle Bollinger Band support. Weekly time frame, still a higher low, higher high pattern, still cautious as we approach earnings, still a few weeks away. Um, but just, the, again, the same setup is there on the weekly time frame. Have to be cautious of history repeating itself. NVDA inside bar on the daily with a week close, two days in a row with that week close. 197.15 support, 199.38 resistance. We'll see which breaks. The bears are more likely to see a break with how we closed, but we'll have to see how we open tomorrow morning. Weekly time frame, grinding the middle Bollinger Band support for five weeks, four weeks in a row, keeping the bulls in control as long as that is the case. Lose that level, and it's a red flag. Tesla on the daily time frame got us that bullish reversal candlestick we were looking for, oversold hourly conditions, hourly 20 period moving average became support. We're looking for follow through after a strong close. We need another solid green day tomorrow to confirm this reversal candlestick. 317.68 is resistance, exponential resistance being tested as well. Weekly time frame trying to defend that 50 week moving average support as anticipated. That level is 317.28. Bulls need just two thirds of a percent tomorrow to keep that level as support and form a decent looking hammer on the weekly with a lower wick of bulls buying the dip. Netflix, huge bull today, breaking out above the upper Bollinger Band. First bull break was of this little double top, 190.95. Second bull break was 192.64. And we made it all the way up to 194 due to the lack of resistance. After 192.64, next resistance is 199.03. Tons of space to the upside. The bulls enjoyed that today. And we'll see if they can stay in breakout mode tomorrow and continue to close above the upper Bollinger Band. Weekly time frame is grinding the middle Bollinger Band support for five weeks. Bulls in full control as long as that is the case. Netflix has been the clear tech laggard trying to play catch up now. It was far outpacing any tech name that I was watching. It's still bullish weekly consolidation as long as this middle Bollinger Band holds. And we're looking towards that all-time high as long as we continue to hold that level. CMG, still weak. We broke the higher low pattern, favoring the bears further for a potential bear flag. Exponential resistance continues to drive the price down. Support is 290.33 and a break of 298.69 or 300 psychological, depending on how much wiggle room you want to give it, would be a signal that is a red flag for the bears. But as of right now, bears still in control as long as the daily exponential resistance continues to reject the price. CMG on the weekly time frame, inside bar, and watching for the potential of continuation to the downside if we can't get over the daily exponential resistances. I appreciate you watching. We'll see you over the weekend. Have a great night.